Hi guys, welcome to Gears and Thoughts. Uh, this is the Christopher Ward um, box uh, where the watch came in. And I'm gonna kind of unbox this here. Uh, it has a nice Christopher, Four, uh, Christopher Ward logo there. And I've actually already opened this up, but here I'll kind of redo it for you guys. Uh, kind of comes with the basic uh, package here, some instructions. Um, yeah, they have this uh, 60 for 60 guarantee card. I'll kind of talk about that a little bit later. Uh, a manual. Um, okay. And there's the actual watch itself. Um, I'm going to take it out of the box. Kind of do a little bit of a unwrapping here. And there it is. Beautiful watch. You know, uh, I myself wasn't really into watches before, but that has changed. I got a watch for my wedding gift, and uh, since then I've kind of been obsessed with movements and watches and mechanical watches in particular. So this is the new Christopher Ward Trident C60 Pro 300. They used to have a 600 line, they still do. Uh, this is a little bit of a new watch, it's thinner. Um, it doesn't have as much water resistance as the 600 obviously it had uh, 600 um, meters of water resistance this has 300 um, I don't know if that is focusing there but a beautiful watch I wanted to kind of talk about why this watch is kind of like in my opinion um, become like a the king of all the divers you know I've had the Orient before I've been looking into getting uh, the Omega and uh, you know the Rolex it is a god tier level watch um, something that is kind of out of my reach at this moment but if you're in this kind of a similar boat as I am where you know you want you are getting into watches um, you're you want a mechanical watch but you don't have thousands of dollars to waste on a new watch um, and you want something that's elegant something that uh, has a really modern feel to it um, great looks this is the watch for you so what I kind of want to interpret uh, and discuss about on this video are basically what I think uh, four main things that people buy a watch for so in my opinion it's uh, the looks you know obviously that's important uh, the function uh, that's pretty important too people want a, a watch that can serve whatever function they bought it for um, and Third, say the third one is quality. Uh, people want you know high quality, well well made, well finished, and in a lot of cases that tends to be Swiss made. And uh, they this particular brand, all the although they're a UK based brand, they do their designs in UK. Um, they uh, do in fact uh, construct their watches in uh, Switzerland. Uh, and then I think the fourth and the last component um, of uh, why people buy or why people would want this watch would be uh, for the brand. I think obviously Omega and, and Rolex and um, uh, AP, all those uh, high caliber br uh, brands, if you have the cash uh, to afford those watches, yeah, hey, all, you know, go for it. But if you don't, you know, you want a well uh, uh, designed, well worth the money watch, I think this is it. Um, so, uh, like I said, this is the Christopher Ward Trident C60 Pro 300. Um, I'm going to give you some stats uh, before I really dive deep into what I think makes this watch um, the Diver King. Um, so, they offer this new one, uh, this uh, Pro 300, uh, in three sizes. It comes in at 38, 40, and 42 millimeter. It comes in black, white, blue, and green. Uh, this is the black uh, version of it. It has some red accents. The automatic uh, uh, there is in red. Uh, the tip of the second hand is also in red and it comes with this beautiful rubber band with the uh, red accents. It, it uh, also comes on a, on a brace, but obviously that increases uh, the price of it uh, a little bit. But th overall, this is a sub $1,000 watch. Uh, it, the straps, like I said, it does come in steel. The price with the steel brace is about uh, $1,050. Uh, 
So, uh, and without it on a rubber strap, um, you can get it uh, for eight sixty five, and they very often have coupons online uh, that uh, you can take advantage of. Uh, those coupons, uh, uh, you just need to go to Google and type in um, Christopher Ward coupon and you should be able to uh, come up with a code that you can put in uh, when you check out. Um, they also have engraving available. Uh, that is for another $40. Uh, and like I said, this watch does come uh, with 300 meters of water resistance. So. I'm going to talk a little bit about my model in particular. Um, you know, every uh, version of this watch, the 38, 40, uh, they all have a little bit different stat, uh, um, measurements. But I'm going to talk about this one. This is the 42 millimeter black. Uh, it has a height of about 11.5 millimeters, a lug to lug of about 49.3 millimeters, and a case weight of 78 grams. Uh, this case. Uh, is very unique. It's called the light catcher case. And as you can see, um, it has uh, these really unique machined um, areas which are very reflective. Uh, they go, give off a very modern feel to the watch. Uh, very, very sports kind of watch or sports car kind of like vibe. Um, very well made, very well machined. Uh, it has um, a... Uh, Salita uh, SW200 movement inside, Swiss made movement, very reliable movement. Um, it has central hacking, um, uh, 38 hours of power reserve, vibrating at about 4,000 Hertz. It has a date complexion, uh, a complication, um, and a uh, number of jewels uh, of about 26. Uh, it's uh, time tolerance uh, has been tested to about plus or minus 20 seconds, though in my experience, um, I, it's been around two to four plus or minus uh, per day. Uh, really, really reliable watch and, and relatively accurate for the money. Um, so going back to those four things that I talked about on, I think what most people want in a watch, you know, they wanna make sure it looks good. You know, I think this fits in that category. This looks great. It's a great feeling watch. It's light, it's thin. It uh, has great contours. I think this is a great looking watch. So it meets the first criteria. Uh, the second criteria in terms of function. So I've had this watch for about uh, a month, I'd say now. I've been working out with it, and that means power lifting, lifting, running, uh, no issues at all, especially with the, with the rubber uh, strap. Uh, very comfortable to wear. Uh, I can almost forget it sometimes and you know, I have to look at my wrist and, and, and there it is. So very comfortable to wear. Uh, I can't say if if, uh, if you have it on the steel bracelet, it would be as comfortable. Um, obviously it, it looked more professional that way, but um, that's, in, uh, you know, each individual's prerogative. Like I said, with the steel bracelet, it gets to over a little over a thousand. I wanted my first watch, my first Swiss made watch to be under a thousand dollars. And I think this is the best uh, bargain that I've seen. You know, I've, I've looked at Doxa watches as well. I've looked at Mido as well. And I think in terms of this modern design uh, and uh, the layout of the watch, this is the best. So it also has a loomed bezel all around, has loomed indices and loomed hands. Um, and I'll try to show you that a little bit later. Um, so going down uh, further through that function category, I've, I've also been swimming with it. Um, I haven't had any issues with this watch. So I think most people are not divers who buy these diver watches, right? I think most people, maybe they swim here and there. Uh, maybe they do a couple of laps in the pool. Uh, for that kind of stuff, I think this is a perfect watch. Um, you, I guess you could go diving with this. I've never been went diving. I've never been diving. Uh, so I, I can't say that uh, this will hold up there, but it should. Um, but I think most people are not diving with these watches. I think if you're diving, you need like a professional grade watch, like a Tudor uh, or maybe an Omega. Um, but uh, in the sauna, I've taken this uh, watch in the sauna. I'm only there for about 10 minutes and yeah, I haven't had any issues at all. I mean, look at that beautiful movement. Salita SW200 
has a Christopher Ward on the back there, transparent back, sapphire, sapphire crystal on top as well. Um, so I'm also a physician and I work in healthcare. Uh, I wear this watch to work, um, haven't had any issues. It looks professional, looks great, goes under the cuff really well. Um, so you can wear it in any situation in my opinion. Uh, it's that, uh, I think it, 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 it has that all round kind of function to it um, that you can wear it in, in almost any setting. So I think it meets the second criteria pretty well. It meets the function criteria really well. Uh, the third one, quality. I mean, superb quality. I already mentioned that. You know, I kind of sound like a fanboy. I'm sorry about that. But the machining is so good on this watch. Uh, it, it For a sub-thousand dollar watch, you almost forget uh, that that um, this is a sub-thousand dollar watch due to the quality of how things are made. I mean, the crown guard uh, and the areas here, the crown itself feels amazing when you push it. It's sturdy. It doesn't wobble. There's no take. I mean, look at this bezel action. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is clean, it is smooth, everything lines up appropriately. I mean, I couldn't ask for more in terms of quality. Um, and now in terms of the brand, so Christopher Ward, um, this brand, I don't know if a lot of you have heard of it. Uh, it, it is somewhat of a newer brand. Uh, they're based off of UK, like I, like I said, they're, they design everything in UK, but they do produce and manufacture their watches in Switzerland so they can say Swiss made. Um, really uh, a company that is an up and coming. Uh, they sell directly to customers. They have an online um, store that you can order from. Very easy to order. So you're not kind of uh, going back and forth wondering whether you can get the watch. It's straightforward. Uh, it works. And if you want the watch, you get the watch. Uh, and I love that about, about them being an online direct to consumers um, kind of uh, um, attitude. So uh, this, they do make some in-house movements. They have other watches that are beautiful as well. You can, uh, you guys can go check them out. Um, and what I really like about them is they're 60, uh, 60 out of 60, 60 over 60 kind of commitment. And what this means is that there's a 60 day guarantee. If you don't like the watch, you return it, full refund, no questions asked. Um, and then there's a 60 month uh, movement warranty, meaning that if the movement goes bad in the, in the next five years, uh, you can, sell, you can uh, send it back to them and, and they will work on it and send you back a working watch. So phenomenal uh, warranty by uh, Christopher Ward. I think they did excellent work uh, and I think they can do that because their product is, is superb. Another thing is that they've recently uh, become a partner uh, of uh, Everton Football Club. And those of you who are in the United States, that's a soccer, that's football soccer club. I really didn't know about it, but it's great that they're the official partner. They're starting to build uh, some of that history that we all look for in a watch brand, you know, like Omega. They're you know the first on the moon. Uh, Rolex uh, have been in the works you know, for a very long time, they're, they were the uh, leading people in terms of, um, you know, Olympic timing and, uh, you know, it's, they cover some golf tournaments as well. Uh, so overall, final thoughts about this watch. I think this meets all the criteria for a great everyday watch. I, I can't say that enough. I think this is a strong diver. Uh, it's an excellent starter watch and I highly recommend it. Uh, for people who don't have a lot of money to spend, they want a sub thousand dollar watch and are wondering, man, where where should I go? I think this is this watch is for those people, and specifically for people who are just starting their uh, mechanical watch uh, adventure. I am by no means an expert, but I think if you go with Chris Reward, uh, you're not going to be disappointed. It's going to have all the things that you need um, in a wonderful watch, wonderfully made. Uh, that, that you need for the incoming future. And when you know, you're know you in a better financial position uh, where you have the money uh, to you know, upgrade to a uh, Omega or a Tudor or a Rolex, great, you, know, you, guys, you can't go wrong with those watches. I love Omega, uh, I think um, that's my goal watch right now because you, know, you can't really get a Rolex these days. 
I would love one, of course. I don't think there's anybody who wouldn't. Tudor's been doing amazing. I love uh, the new uh, Tudor um, Pelagos 38. I think it's a phenomenal looking watch. Uh, but they're in a whole different category. I think if, if you're not quite there, you're starting off on your journey, this is the watch to go. And um, if you have any questions, you know, leave them in the comment. I'll try to answer them if I can. Um, but I think uh, if, if you're a healthcare provider, if this is easy to time, you know, your resuscitations, um, any other critical tasks uh, that you need to time very quickly. The bezel works really well. I mean, look at that. You can time it in a, in a heartbeat. And I do that a lot. You know, I time some of my procedures. I time some of my resuscitations. Uh, so from a professional standpoint, I think this is uh, an excellent, an excellent bid. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll try to post more videos as I go. Uh, I'm very new at this. Please bear with me. The quality uh, of the videos in the beginning, as you can imagine, is not great. But I will try to do my best uh, to upgrade things and fix things and um, improve things as I go. So bear with me. I will be posting more videos, not just on watches, on other things as well. Um, and um, would love to hear your inputs in the, on, on those things too. So, all right. Thank you.